Now this program is a variation on the confetti program, and here we have a, what I call a snowy cottage. So basically, um, here we'll run the program, and you can see it's like the confetti in that we're drawing random rectangles, really tiny rectangles, on the window in random locations. Um, unlike the confetti program, which generated random, random colors, these, of course, are all white. Um, one thing that is kind of hard to tell, but I have set this up so that the snowflakes are actually random sizes. Like you see, there's a very tiny one there and then a larger one. So instead of random color, we have randomly sized snowflakes, but they're all the same color, of course. So we already have the code in place. I'll just talk about it. Setting the brush color to white, of course. Okay. We'll just make note also of the graphics window. It's 640 pixels wide and 475 pixels high. Okay. So basically when we're setting up our X and Y, random X and Y coordinates, then we will provide those particular uh, dimensions to get random number, the get random number method. Okay, so this is just like in the confetti program where we're generating random x and y coordinates depending on the dimensions of the window. And then, uh, unlike the confetti program, here we're doing randomly sized snowflakes between one and three pixels. Okay, so some of them are very tiny, just one pixel. And then, um, some of them are two pixels, medium size, and then some snowflakes are three pixels. Okay, and then finally, um, actually, we're instead of the rectangle like in the confetti program, we're, we're doing an ellipse in this case. You could use the fill rectangle method, but you would get basically snowflakes that are square looking and uh, remember like what the confetti looked like in the previous program. So the fill ellipse will make them a little softer and, and make them basically small circles. So ellipses are, are circles when it comes down to it. Okay, so we will go ahead and run that once more. You know the result. So imagine this. This is what 1,000 snowflakes look like. Okay, why don't we make it a much heavier snow and we will increase that to 10,000. Oh, so you, you can see it's a very heavy snow. It looks like a blizzard in that case. So you can manipulate the, the snow by changing the number of times that the loop will, will run, the number of iterations that, that the loop will ultimately uh, produce.